What's up everybody? Welcome to this latest Funko Pop Concepts video. This time we're obviously focusing on Marvel, so this should be pretty exciting here and there were a lot of people that did contribute, which I definitely appreciate that. So before I really get into the video, I wanna make it clear what this video is all about, especially for people that are new to this series. The artwork that you're going to see is provided by collectors with um, figures, well basically characters that they would like to see represented as pop figures. So there's nothing official here from Funko. This is just coming from collectors. Also, this is not a contest. When I did the Pokemon um, Funko Pop Concepts video, that was a contest and there actually were two winners based off of that. But this time is just all in good fun. If there's going to be another contest, I will definitely give you all a heads up about that. Also, um, let's try to keep it as positive as possible, you know, with your feedback, you know, feel free to share your own ideas. But, um, you know, be respectful to the artists that did decide to share their work here because it does take some courage to step up and share your artwork with an audience like this. So let's do re be respectful of that. But uh, yeah, enough about all that. Let's go ahead and get into the actual pop designs. So starting off here with Chris. Chris shared four designs with us. I'm showing you the first two here. So Mysterio, I've been saying it for a long time on my channel now. I really hope that they do a Mysterio pop figure. Mysterio actually is one of my favorite villains, even though he's not the most effective or successful villain. I just still like um, that he has sort of that cheesy, cheesiness factor to him, but he just, he works though. He's also dangerous. He can be a pretty dangerous villain when he puts his powers to good use. So, um, or I should say his skills to good use. But yeah, with Mysterio, um, you notice here that Chris kind of squared off the dome just a little bit to make it more true to a Funko Pop. I definitely understand why he did that. You also notice that he has sort of that smoky or like fog-like effect going on around his hands, which I think is very true to the character. And I do think that Funko should do something like that with the pop figure and I'm really hoping to see a classic design of Mysterio similar here to um, Chris's artwork and then if it, the rumors turn out to be true and that um, Mysterio actually is the villain in the follow-up to Spider-Man Homecoming I'm sure that his movie design is going to be different and they would do a pop based off of that so yeah I'm really hoping that we actually are going to get two Mysterio pop figures in the future that would be very nice and then Carnage of course already has a pop figure but I do think Carnage does need an update and there actually is going to be another Carnage figure because I mean Carnage is going to be in the um, Venom movie franchise which um, they already are looking towards a sequel for that movie so that's why I'm calling it a franchise so um, yeah I think we are going to eventually get another Carnage figure and I like what Chris did here that he does have sort of the, um, the symbiote like tendrils coming off of him it just makes him look more dangerous and I really do like that aspect of the character and then I also like with this chase variant that uh, Chris created here that you see that the uh, venom well not venom but the symbiote mask is pulling back on Carnage's face and then you actually can see Cletus Cassidy below it I definitely like that I think that's very creative and that would be a very cool chase variant now the next design here from Chris is Thor Buster I know most people are familiar with the Hulk Buster but yes there actually is Thor Buster armor as well for when Iron Man you know may have to clash with Thor um, and this has been featured in several comics I haven't actually read any of them but I have seen several slightly different designs of the Thor Buster armor one thing I like about it is um, certain aspects of the armor to me they seem like this like it's kind of influenced by samurai armor and I really do like that now with this figure I think they should definitely make sure that it is a tall figure if they were to create it and that's something that Funko can do in a standard size box you know they can make it a, a taller than the average size pop figure so I think that would be important along with it and then I absolutely agree with this a 10 inch Galactus would be very awesome now one thing you're going to hear me say throughout this video is that some of these ideas are probably going to be held up because of the situation with Fox. Funko, obviously, they can um, make things based off of Marvel properties that are that fall up under Disney. But as far as things related to the X-Men and things related to Fantastic Four, that's where they run into some issues. It's kind of dicey there, you know, because... um. Funko and well not necessarily Funko but I'll say Fox and Disney don't exactly play well together but if this deal gets worked out and Disney actually does buy the rights to X-Men and Fantastic Four then this also opens up the possibility for a lot more pop figures and yeah Galactus definitely needs to be a 10 inch figure from the jump if they are to make one of him as far as the Silver Surfer is concerned you see Chris did also draw the Silver Surfer there um, there is a Silver Surfer pop already it is an older pop so uh, 
um, I think Silver Surfer eventually could use an update, especially with a metallic paint job or, you know, chrome variant of uh, Silver Surfer would be very cool also. So, yeah, we'll just have to kind of wait and see what happens with Fox and Disney. And like I said, that could open up a lot of possibilities. Now, I definitely want to give big props to Diamond for focusing on a character that I'm not very familiar with, but a character that would look amazing as a pop figure, and that, of course, is Singularity. And Singularity is actually a member of A-Force, which is the all-female um, team of superheroes and some, I guess you would say, reformed villains as well. Um, but they're a pretty awesome Marvel team. As a matter of fact, there is a Marvel Legends uh, six-pack of some characters from A-Force, and Singularity is featured within that, which, uh, you know, is very cool. And that's something I might have to pick up from Toys R Us right before they completely close their doors but yeah uh singularity looking like the night sky which is you know that that's what she's supposed to look like you know because it's true to her background yeah that would make for an amazing pop figure and i also like what diamond did here if you look towards the feet of the figure you see that there has like it's kind of like some transparency going on there yeah th i think this would be an amazing figure to create um you know, it may take this character appearing somewhere besides comics for Funko to take note of it, but, you know, regardless, I just hope that this character does happen eventually. And I wasn't even thinking about it before Diamond sent this artwork, but now that I've seen this, I know this is going to be kind of stuck in my head, and this would be a really cool design. Now, Deathlock is a character, again, I haven't really read um, any uh, comics featuring Deathlock, but... From when I was a kid and I first saw his design, I just liked the way that he's designed. It's, it's kind of like a, almost a bit of comic book cheesiness to it, but it still works overall though. And um, you see here that Hugo decided to uh, basically show like a, a more modern version of him and then also throwback versions of him. Regardless, you know, I think uh, he would be a very cool pop figure to have. Hugo, you, you should let me know if you're watching this in the comments why you also went with a six inch ver version of him. Does that relate to his power somehow or something that happened in the comics? Definitely let me know about that. But yeah, I think there should be at least, at least one Deathlock pop happening at some point. That would be cool. Now, the next character here is another one that I've been talking about that I want to see for the longest time, Sandman. Sandman has absolutely got to happen eventually, and Spider-Man has such a great rogues gallery. We definitely need more villains, you know, more Spider-Man villains, and Sandman definitely needs to be one of them, and they definitely could do um, variants of him. So, you see here with uh, Johnny Rock 7, he decided to show you know basically the common sandman just you get just a sort of hint of his powers there on one one arm basically and then uh he's more sanded out i guess you would say with the chase variant so yeah funko should do something along these lines i would also throw in there that i'd like to see um you know maybe one of his arms or even both of his arms forming into weapons which he tends to do a lot within the comics he does like mace weapons or axes or you know whatever it is you know he does these different objects with the sand so I definitely would like to see that happen and there could also be a variant of Sandman where he's completely sand you know that'd be a probably easy variant to make so uh yeah Sandman definitely needs to happen eventually next up here yet another character that I'm a big fan of and uh, this is something that was not planned it's not like I gave you all a list but some of you just really sent in some characters that I'm a big fan of and I'm definitely a big fan of Super Scroll and I think there has been multiple scrolls that have become the super scroll but you know just for the sake of clarity here I'm, I'm just gonna say super scroll we'll treat it like one one individual but uh yeah i really do like super scroll i was really happy when he got included in marvel vs. capcom 3 and that he actually played pretty well and if you're not familiar with the super scroll basically it's a scroll that has been genetically modified to have the powers of all four members of the fantastic four so um King Kent actually did represent this pretty well in his artwork there and you see that he's suggesting that there should be a transparent flame effect on one arm which of course that comes from the human torch and then a transparent leg which comes from the invisible woman so uh, I definitely agree with those as far as design is concerned and the scrolls are supposed to be villains in the uh, Captain Marvel movie so again it gets a little bit dicey though because uh, the scrolls are enemies of the Avengers so of course Marvel can use them but with the Super Scroll, then you're also doing a play on the Fantastic Four. So if the deal doesn't go through with Fox, I don't know if they would run into issues there or not. But yeah, I, I'm, I really am a fan of the Super Scroll. So I hope that this can happen eventually. 
the most recent uh, Deadpool figures that we got are kind of a mixed bag. And what I mean by that is that we do have, um, you know, figures that are somewhat true to the movie. Um, especially, I would say, you know, the Deadpool um, Bob Ross figure, which, of course, that was used in promotion for Deadpool 2. And then also um, Deadpool laying down. That's also, you know, relating to promotion for the movie. Um, Deadpool on the scooter is actually true to a scene in the movie. And then um, I would say Colossus also, I believe his outfit comes from the movie. But then you look at some of the other characters like uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I don't think she exactly looks the way she did in the movie. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I think that outfit is different. And Domino especially sticks out like a sore thumb. That is not the Domino that we got within the movie. So, uh... You know, hopefully we'll get some more true movie versions of the characters. And uh, you see here that Louis, I hope I'm saying that name correctly, Louis decided to go with some uh, Deadpool variants based off the movie. I absolutely agree with um, Deadpool in the prison outfit. I think that would be a pretty cool figure to have. And then Deadpool with the two swords, of course, his, uh, you know, katanas, he's known for those. So that makes a lot of sense as well. And then an unmasked variant of that figure, again, makes a lot of sense there. And Deadpool is still hugely popular um the second movie to me was not as good as the first one i really loved the first movie i think the second one is still entertaining and um you know it's popular enough that yeah it can justify having more figures I decided to put these two pieces of artwork here together because they both focus on Iron Spider, albeit two very different versions of Iron Spider. So first of all, here on the left from Nolan Dan, we see this very comic book version of Iron Spider, and it's very true to the um, the way that Iron Spider was originally presented to us, you know, with the artwork. Um, a nice touch to it here is uh, the way that he's propped up on that shield there, which, you know, may look familiar to some people. But, uh, of course, there already is a pop figure of the uh, comic book version of Iron Spider. But, you know, a, an update could happen eventually. That does happen sometimes with pops. I feel like uh, one of my subscribers actually asked me about that recently. And, yes, the, you know, of course, Funko does do updated versions of pop figures sometimes. So, yeah, there could be another variant of the comic book version of Iron Spider eventually. And then uh, to the right here from OCCO, we see um, Iron Spider fading, which, of course, is that reference to Infinity War. And um, I think uh, this is an interesting design because... Uh, he did describe this within the email. He said basically he'd like to see the pop form go from like the standard pop to an 8-bit pop form to represent the fading. Um, I don't know how like if Funko could actually do that or how difficult that would be. But as far as the fading characters are concerned based off of that film, um, yeah, that, that's a possibility for pops, definitely. And Fun Funko has already said that they are going to do more based off of Infinity War. So it's going to be very interesting to see if they actually do address that aspect of the movie. Now this character here, or I should say these characters, I'm really not super familiar with them. I have seen um, a lot of artwork of Di Devil Dinosaur with Moon Girl, and I do know that um, Moon Girl is supposed to be the smartest character in the Marvel Universe, which is really saying a lot because there are a lot of highly intelligent characters within the Marvel Universe. But um, I also know that Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl, they're like psychically linked or something like that. And um, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much the gist of what I know about them. But um, yeah, I definitely think that this would have to be a six inch figure here. And I think Pop Picture did point that out within his uh, email. So um, yeah, a six inch figure with a small figure on the back of Moon Girl would absolutely work for me. I think that would be very cool looking. And just the fact that um, Devil Dinosaur has that reddish color going on, it could really stand out and look really cool as a figure. Um, again, this might be another character where it might have to appear somewhere other than the comics for Funko to take notice. But regardless, I think it would be very cool to see. Now, Snivy232 decided to share three different designs here with us. So I'm starting off, of course, going from left to right. Now, Agent Venom is yet another character I'm a big fan of. And I do like this look here. I will have to say, though, in my opinion, that uh, with Agent Venom, because Flash Thompson was a soldier, and that's something that's you know, very integral to his character. And he does make use of um, guns because he doesn't want to be too reliant on the suit because he doesn't want the suit to completely control him. So yeah, I think that um, you would have to have Agent Venom, the figure with some weapons and maybe even having the tendrils coming off of the suit holding some weapons. I always like when Agent Venom does that. It's a very cool look. So um, yeah, that's the one thing I would add to this design is weapons. You know, I think that is important for him. Cosmic Sp Spider-Man, excuse me, Cosmic Spider-Man definitely could look very cool. Um, I don't know the whole backstory behind the whole Cosmic Spider-Man thing. I know it's like a power 
that travels from character to character though and that spider-man ended up with that power for a while that cosmic power but yeah once he did that suit design was pretty cool to see um it definitely could stand out a lot so yeah that's something I, that's a variant i would like to see happen and then we got another sandman here and like i was saying earlier you know you got to have that combination where you see like Sandman looking human and then part of him with the sand and uh, that's what Snivia's done here you see that the legs are all sand and then the left arm is forming into a weapon that that's perfect to me you know something like that definitely needs to happen moving on here with Phoenix and um, T200 decided to label this as Phoenix Force Jean Grey which you know that does make it very clear what character we're working with here because the Phoenix Force actually has been with different characters including Cyclops but yeah Phoenix Force Jean Grey I do feel like I gotta point out especially for people that have been collecting for a while you already know that there is a Phoenix Pop that was created and there was actually two color variant well three color variants all together there was the green the white and the red I think the white is the one that's like really pricey I, th I think that's very rare but uh, regardless, yeah, Phoenix actually could use an update. And the Phoenix is going to be represented, I think, in the next X-Men movie, which um, the way that last movie turned out, X-Men Apocalypse, I don't have a lot of hope for how well they're going to do with the Phoenix in the movie. You know, we'll have to wait and see, though. But um, I like the design that you went with here, T200. And by the way, as I know for some people this might be difficult to see. I tried to work with his artwork to make it as clear as possible. It was a little tough because the artwork is very light. But um, yeah, he actually does have Jean Grey up on a stand. And then the flame effect coming up behind her forming the Phoenix, which I think Funko could do. Um, they've been doing some great, thing with, great things with flame effects, including what they did with the Maleficent Hot Topic exclusive. So this pop design actually could work and it definitely could stand out a lot this could be very cool and something like that um this detailed i think would be very fitting as like maybe a comic-con type exclusive you know um but we'll have to wait and see you know what happens with the movie and if that inspires funko to do something because this is where the fox deal might actually work in collector's favor because instead of uh, doing a movie version of phoenix funko would probably go with the comic version you know and do an update of phoenix so We'll, we'll just have to see though what's going to happen with that now next up here from thomas um and it's i went with what it said on the email the email said thomas k animation so i don't know if he actually has a company or what's going on there with thomas but yeah i wanted to make sure i put the full name that i saw from the email but yeah thomas definitely put some thought into these designs i think it really does show starting off with the human torch and again you know some things might have to happen with fox as a company for um the fantastic four to be represented as pops but I like here that the common of Human Torch isn't completely all, you know, flame on. He doesn't have all that going on. But you, you get to see clearly his uh, Fantastic Four suit and then the flame effect around his hands. I like that as a common. And then the completely Human Torch form would be the Chase variant. And um, also he noted here a glow in the dark Chase variant. So yeah that would be incredible to see really incredible to see and by the way that's not a pun i know the incredibles kind of ripped off the uh, fantastic fours powers but i didn't mean that as a pun uh, i really do like this design though and then he also has here the human spider which of course is spider-man and his homemade suit and um they did do this for spider-man homecoming but that suit design was kind of different from the homemade suit in the comics and also the homemade suit of um sam raimi's movies i kind of prefer the way that sam raimi did it i actually like to see peter parker's eyes in the homemade suit as opposed to those um goggles i understand the story reason behind the goggles but i just didn't really like the look of them though so i think a more classic uh human spider look would be pretty cool to have and i do like how he has them up on a stand it makes it look like he's kind of either flying through the air or perched on the side of a building either way that is pretty cool so Stan the Man Lee as Groot, this is one of the more interesting designs that I received. I think this is pretty creative from um, Transformers guy. And I really think this could be like a whole uh, line of figures that Funko could do Stan Lee as Marvel characters, even characters that he may have not directly created because I don't think he actually created um, Guardians of the, of the Galaxy, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't think he actually had, had a hand in them directly. But regardless, you know, think about Stan Lee as Spider-Man, which I know that some um, some custom artists have done like head swaps and actually created that. But, you know, an official figure, Stan Lee as Spider-Man or Stan Lee as Hulk, Stan Lee as Iron Man, Stan Lee as Captain America. Like it would be incredible to see those. So, again, I think that's something that would be 
you know, worth thinking about from Funko if they actually are allowed to do that, which I don't see why they wouldn't be able to do do that because they do Stan Lee figures, they do Marvel figures, so why not do some mashups? That would be pretty cool in my opinion. Next up here from Trippy Cheese, which is a pretty interesting name, we have two designs here that I really like, and um, I like that he went here with the classic variant of a classic version of Adam Warlock because we know there's going to be a movie version eventually because Adam Warlock is supposed to be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So along with that, of course, they will do pops and more than likely there's going to be an Adam Warlock with a different design. But I think they should have the classic comic design as well. And then we also have here Beast or Hank McCoy, which I like and I know that there is a Beast pop already, but his focus here is really more so on Hank McCoy than Beast. And yes, I know they're the same character, but what I mean by that, thinking about Hank McCoy as as a scientist that's what's really represented with this version here so of course he has his glasses on he has some clothing on and he's holding a beaker there and then some notes in one hand really representing him as a scientist and I do like that so I think this would justify doing another beast pop figure Next up here, we got Backstage Inc. And she actually is the last contributor here. She was actually the first to contribute because we kind of talked behind the scenes about this. She has been really um, integral with this series and um, really, you know, getting it off the ground and everything. Yeah, Backstage Inc. has really been a big part of this. But uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely want to share her designs. And the one here to the left, of course, a lot of you have seen this already because I have shared it multiple times before. We have Black Cat here, which I think there is going to be a Black Cat pop eventually because... Sony is talking about still doing a Black Cat movie. I think it's Black Cat and Silver Sable, actually. It's weird. Sony is trying to build a Spider-Man universe without Spider-Man, which does not make sense to me, but whatever, you know. But regardless, I think that we will get Black Cat eventually, but it may be different. It may not be... Maybe may not be true to the comics basically but I think we do need a comic book variant and Backstage Inc did a great job with this here I think that um, hair sculpt would be amazing for the figure and also the the fur around the um, collars and everything yeah that looks awesome I also like that she is holding a diamond making it very clear you know what she's about so yeah great design there and then we have yet another Mysterio and what she did with the Mysterio here he actually has the fog or smoke effect going up around him wrapping around him which is very cool and so Something that Funko could do. If you think about the um, the May from Overwatch figure that was exclusive to Hot Topic, that had sort of a water effect going on around her, either water or ice effect going on around her, which could be um, similar to what they could do with Mysterio. So it's absolutely possible that that could happen with the design. And then two more concepts here from Backstage Inc. To the left here we have Classic Electra, which yeah, where is that at, Funko? I mean, they did the uh, um, basically the Netflix version of Electra, but we got to have the classic version of her as well. To me, it's just I understand why they did the net Netflix version, of course, but yeah, I think the classic version matters a lot too. And it's a very simple costume, but it's just it really does stand out though, and um, it just is classic in that other sense of just a great design, basically that really works. And then also we have here North Star, which I know he's been a member of the X Men. I feel like he also was originally a, a member of Alpha Flight, if I'm remembering correctly, which um. I think there's a good chance that Alpha Flight eventually could get a movie. They actually had a uh, Easter egg within Deadpool 2. Some people may have caught that. But uh, yeah, Alpha Flight actually could get a movie eventually. There's nothing announced. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying eventually it could happen. And then that maybe would make it more likely for us to get North Star. And North Star, again, is yet a very, very comic book design to him. But I think it would work all right. You know, as a, as a pop figure, I think it would work well. Um, Previously, Backstage Inc. actually sent me a variant of him, I believe, as well, with like a different hair design. So I don't know if he has like different looks going on in the comics or not. I'm not super familiar with this character. But, you know, there are some characters from Alpha Flight that I think uh, would be very cool as pop figures. And like I said, down the line, who knows, maybe there could be an Alpha Flight movie. So I definitely want to thank all of the artists that contributed. Remember, it does take some bravery to step up and share your artwork like this. So I really, truly appreciate that. And uh, you all make sure that you do give them their props for contributing for this video. Now, there were some characters that weren't covered. And um, I just want to touch on them quickly. Of course, all this all this work that your artwork and images you're seeing here, this is just from the web. But um I gotta say Gambit and Rogue, I'm still holding out hope for them. I, I think that's still going to be tied to that Fox deal, whether it happens or not. But Gambit and Rogue, I really like them as a couple. So 
hoping that'll happen eventually the new cloak and dagger series i really am enjoying it it's only two episodes deep but i enjoyed both of them immensely if you haven't checked out that series make sure you do so and then yes i think they are deserving of pop figures as well and then I know this is definitely going to rely on that Fox deal going through a movie version of Quicksilver, even though it would be late to the party. And yes, I know he's speedy, but he would be late, you know. But um, yeah, I, if they could still go back and do a, a movie version of Quicksilver, I would really appreciate that. You all definitely let me know what you think about that. Would you like to see a movie version of Quicksilver? I would grab that up in a heartbeat if they were to make that. Now before I wrap this up, I do uh, have a little business to take care of. First of all, if you have not yet entered the Backstage Inc. giveaway, make sure that you do so because you do have a couple of days left on this. So what you will need to do, you got to have an Instagram account. So you go to Instagram, you follow at Backstage Inc backstage inc you see her name here on the screen make sure that you follow her and then on her account you will see this image to the left the black cat concept art and make sure that you comment on it fm sent me followed by your youtube name and you see the example here fm sent me then the dash there john smith just as an example name so make sure that you say fm sent me followed by your youtube name and that's it that's how you enter very simple and in doing that you will be supporting one of my favorite artists and do make sure you check out her artwork on her account too by the way because she does have some fantastic artwork there and um yeah it's just a very simple way to support an artist that i'm a big fan of so um like i said i'm gonna do the drawing at the end of the week and this will be for a 25 dollars hot topic gift card and there'll be just one winner for this and um you know, win or lose, please make sure that you support this very talented artist. Uh, don't let it be all just about the giveaway. Like I said, she's been very integral to this series that I have going on here now. So I also want to address the next uh, video, the next entry into Funko Pop Concepts. Um, so I'm actually going to put out three possibilities. There are three possibilities. I had one in mind previously, but then I was like, you know what, let me think about some options here for it so the first possibility is one I already mentioned previously which would be video game characters and I'm gonna say except for Nintendo characters because that's what we started the series off with and I know we didn't cover all of the Nintendo characters that could be made but regardless just to keep things kind of fresh I want to focus on characters besides Nintendo characters and also characters of course that aren't already ex exist as pops or at least some different variants going on maybe um, and then the, another option here would be DC Comics characters which um, even if we don't cover this right away if this doesn't win the vote regardless this is going to happen at some point and that's the truth for the others as well and then anime characters is another option so one of these three is going to be the focus of the next edition of Funko Pop Concepts now as far as other categories are concerned some people keep throwing ideas at me even though I said please be patient we're going to cover a lot with this series just just be patient if it's something that's popular we're going to get to it so you really don't even have to ask if it's popular we're going to get to it eventually but there are certain um, categories certain genres that i'm saving for certain months of the year like for example as far as horror is concerned doesn't it make a lot more sense to wait and do anything that's horror related around the month of october or in the month of october yeah to me it makes sense to just wait and save that so if it's something related to even stranger things i think it makes more sense for like october so again there are certain things that I'm just saving for certain times of the year so be patient with that and I'm also at some point going to do a video that's just random concepts that you all have and I will share those so again you can send whatever artwork you want to and eventually you know it will get shared so of course you can send the artwork to me via the email address fmfunkonews at gmail.com or you can, um, if you want to send a physical copy to me, which I will keep though, I will be keeping it permanently if you send it that way, um, you can send that to my P.O. Box address, which is down in the description. So it's up to you how you submit that artwork to me. And you can, like I said, feel free to send the artwork whenever you want to. You just may have to wait a while to actually see it in a video. Now, as far as that next category, how it's going to be chosen, I'm going to actually leave this up to my patrons. I have my patrons vote on a lot of things involving content on my channel, and I really trust in them to do that. So um, that's the way that I'm going to work this out. It's going to be up to the patrons, whether we focus on video game characters, DC Comics characters, or anime characters next. So I will put that vote up on my Patreon account um, 
I don't know, I'll probably give it a couple days before I take care of that because we got a while. It's going to take a while for artwork to come in. But regardless, like I said, any artwork that you want to send for any of those categories, just go ahead and start sending it in. You know, and um, I'll make sure I'll give you enough time to get the artwork in if you are really interested in doing so. One thing I do want to say real quick, um, this is this is only I think the third entry in this series and already I've had some people say that they missed out they missed out they missed out if you really want to be entered um, if you really want to be involved just go ahead and get on it because I'm always going to give you a couple of weeks to take care of this so there's plenty of time so if you're really interested jump on it right away you know and you will be included I, I want to include as many people as possible because this really is a community thing. So that's going to do it for this edition of Funko Pop Concepts. I hope everybody did enjoy the video. I know this is a long video, but uh, again, I hope everybody really did um, enjoy the video. Uh, please make sure that you comment down below with what you thought about the artist ideas. Also, what are your own ideas as far as Marvel characters that you would like to see as pops? Definitely share with us. And um, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you do um, subscribe. I hope everybody drops a like on the video. And I really am looking forward to reading your comments. And you all take care. I will talk to you all again real soon.